Hey everybody, this is not a spring chicken. Oh, I know. Can you believe it is Oscar week? We're, 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 it's like Oscars are... I, actually, this is one of the things I'm going to tell you is we've been doing stuff for the Oscars for the last two weeks. So finally, by the time the Oscars comes, everybody's like, okay, it's finally here. Okay, so it's Saturday. And of course, still news still does continue besides Oscar week and all the parties and everything else. And I've got old Cam here with comments on the headlines of today. And it's all over for the Republicans. Well, it's like they said this morning. The president has the Republicans on the run. Because if, if the Republicans don't agree to all his demands, which are raising taxes again, all of these in, all of these things are going to be shut down. You won't be able to go to the grocery store, won't be able to get gas, won't be able to fly on airplanes. Your health care is going to be stopped in a nation. And, they've, and, and the only problem is, is that people on the left are starting to get pissed off because they know the Republicans are not going to give this time. Mm -hmm. Because if Boyner gives this time, they'll throw his ass out. Because it has nothing to do, it has to do with taking two percent out of two percent out of an increase in a budget, not mm -hmm. cutting the budget. And those people haven't been hired. Mm -hmm. The people that they say are going to be, uh, won't, you won't have this. Those people have not been hired yet, and they won't be hired. And they, they said, it, and they think that Obama. Okay, Obama's backed up. When Obama gets backed into a corner, he starts getting mean and nasty, and he is now. I may have to do this credit cutting all by myself by executive order and raise taxes in order to pay for the, for what the damage has been done by the Republicans. And mm -hmm. he also said, I love this, it, the Republican Party is going the way of the Whigs and this nation mm -hmm. will be much better for it. I mean, he got mean and nasty, very mean and nasty live yesterday. Live? He live yesterday. He, got, he went into his mean and nasty mode. And it's, it, it, the only people supporting him totally in what he's doing is MSNBC, who, for the first time ever, NBC became the first network ever to end up underneath a, underneath a Spanish language station in a sweeps. What? No one is watching NBC. Oh my Their God. Their news division has got the lowest reading. No one's watching it. Advertisers are not investing. They said NBC, because of their, their harrowing the President of the United States, are basically going out of business and that's not going to make Comcast happy. Comcast will get rid of all those people. The people on Comcast are Republicans, not Democrats. Oh, and car fire and shooting closes down the strip. Oh yeah, I mean they, uh, mm. you know, yeah, I said the people that got killed were, you know, they, they altercation started in the casino and then went out to the parking garage and then out on the street. So, I mean, and then they opened up with heavy gunfire, which meant it was not uh, okay, it had to do with an uh, up-and-coming rapper and his father, who was a, who was a poet, uh, and something. So our grandfather, who's a, a well-known oh. Afro-American poet, and they basically here the problem was: was the hit for the grandfather or the hit for the rapper? Yeah, that's the whole thing because his poetry didn't necessarily support black causes. He was a poet poet. Oh. We basically, he just, you know, he'd see something going on and write about it. He, just, he was a poet poet. And it could be the poet poet stepped on somebody's toes, not the grandson. Apparently somebody stepped on somebody's toes. But they said that, um, they said the only beneficiaries of all of this was the show Vegas that's been taken off the CBS schedule because they're rushing to put a gunfight uh, for uh, they're, they're rushing to film episodes dealing with the music industry going after people in the 1960s. They're stepping on toes because that oh. was the era payola. So now they have a storyline thanks to a thanks to bad them. shooting in Las Vegas. Mm -hmm. But it also hurts those casinos. I mean, remember the Flamingo was created by uh, Bugsy Siegel. Yeah, and it's also owned by the people that are doing all the work next door on the quad, which used to be the Imperial Palace. It was at a god awful bad time for that company. Oh my gosh! And Obama, oh, and Obama is being called worthy of his place on Mount Rushmore. Oh, they're they are actually pushing it on on uh, the left wing news, and uh, they're they're talking here. Well, actually, you know what they need to do is sandblast some of those young. Oh, the, the sandblast. Uh, some of those lesser presidents on Mount Rushmore off so they'll have room to put the greatest president above all of the others. Mm -hmm. uh, there isn't anybody out there other than the people on the real left that thinks he's listed as a lesser president by all the historians because they said that he is the most divisive president. Okay, one guy mm -hmm. said put it this way, if Barack Obama had been president during the Civil War we'd still be fighting the Civil War. Mm -hmm. 
that's how divisive he is. And they think that he should be, uh, they said that uh, the, one, of the thing, one of the faces they said should be blasted away so he could have the room would be Abraham Lincoln. Mm. Isn't that amazing what the left really thinks? And, and majority of U.S. citizens say illegal immigrants should be deported. Almost 70% mm -hmm. of the people want them gone. Mm -hmm. Because they're finding out the cost of immigration is going to be, the cost of legalizing him like the president Democrats want to do is going to be in the trillions of dollars. Trillions, not billions, mm -hmm. but trillions. Because they have, they're, they're, they're going to have to all be put on the health care. They're going to have to have everything you can think of done for them, which legally, instead of, you know, see, the illegal is actually cheaper than legal. I know, can you tell, we're getting ready for all the Oscars and so we're going to like I know, many calls because this, <laughs> like is, this. this is Saturday the day before. At this time tomorrow, we'll either be at the Oscars or we'll be get, waiting for events, so. I know, I, yep, and the majority of U.S. citizens say illegal immigrants yeah. should be, oh. That's because the phone call back to her. Um, Justice Department wants jobless to have the ability to sue any company that won't hire them. Oh, now, come on, is that no, crazy? That's, that is, if you're, okay, it's not crazy to Obama. <laughs> Obama, well, you know, the reason why is because they won't hire people because they don't have a proper education that the Republicans and George Bush didn't allow them to have. They won't hire these people because they're unemployed because of George Excellent. Bush and the Republicans. So he thinks that they deserve a right, but as uh, let's put it this way, no less than the mayor of one of the largest cities in the United States, his very left-wing liberal said, in other words, according to the Obama philosophy, that we could have... Um, Three Mile Island being ran by a man that never graduated from grade school because the President of the United States wants to, but he's going to retroactively do it for federal workers that don't, they don't have to have, they don't have to have job skills, they uh, don't That's have horrible. to be citizens, and they, you know, and, uh, and the unemployed means a lot of those 11 million that are here illegally. It means farm I'm workers, just... you could have a farm worker now in charge of the Los Angeles transit system that has never drove a car in his life. Oh, you mean you could have somebody that hasn't graduated from high school doing air traffic controlling? And flying airplanes because you uh, can't. They do not want education or work history to do uh, be a, a, is, be used to keep you from getting a job because it's one of the most ridiculous things. Oh, they said uh, every word. They, it's in six states now. Un, uh, employment has totally ground to a halt in those states because. The, no one, including the states, wants to hire, go, go put an, a thing out for hiring because if you do, it's resulting in litigation from people that have no qualification. They're losing in court. They're being called frivolous lawsuits. Like they, they were talking this morning about it. Like uh, one guy wanted to be the head of corrections, uh, and they said that his qualifications were, I, I had a grandfather once that was a criminal. He never graduated from grade school. Are you serious? But he applied for the job of head of corrections. And they wouldn't hire him because he wasn't qualified. He wasn't even old enough for the job. But under under the rules that are passed in a state, he he can sue because they uh, they sued that they they, like they the didn't hire him because he didn't have the education and didn't have the qualifications and was too young. Age cannot be considered uh, a thing now either. And that's you're whether old. you're young or old, right? No, old doesn't count. If oh. you're old, they won't stand up for you. Oh, a major snowstorm lashes the U.S. Great Plains and heads east. I know, they're all talking about um, global warming. You know, it's basically god-awful cold as heck everywhere because, you know what they call this? They call this a normal winter mm -hmm. because you haven't had normal winters in a while. You know what they call weather? Weather changes. Mm -hmm. It goes into cycles. You have bad weather, then you have good weather. Remember the pilgrims happened to land during good weather the next year, the weather was got awful horrible. They have never been able to land where they landed at Plymouth. And Texas ex executes man who set his girlfriend on fire. His ex girlfriend. No, well, but of the course. No, the Democrats said that she got what she deserved. They said that he should not. He was pushed into the problem by George Bush and the Republicans. You know that. Um, and flu shot being flu shot doing poor job of protecting older people. Okay, my father said, I don't need a flu shot to get sick. Mm -hmm. What it does is they give you a slight case of the flu. The problem is, is that I, I've never had a flu shot and I won't get a flu shot because I don't need a flu shot to get, to give me a small case of the flu. I've got a sinus problem. All I got to do is have the weather change and then I get it. So. In Georgia, executes a man who killed a college student. 
Well, and they, and they, I mean, the guy will, you, you know, he spent like 20 years on death row, and he had spent all this money when they could have just simply rehabilitated him. There's no longer, to the Democratic Party, anybody that commits a crime against anybody that has more than they do has no right to be tried, mm -hmm. because the person that had more was responsible for their own death. And tip from former LAPD mentor led to donor manhunt. I have doubts that they ever killed, they ever knocked this guy off, and because um, the, it, uh, my guess is they let, he basically stayed around so he could be seen by the TV cameras, and then went into a building, killed himself, and, set, and then the building was set fire to make certain that there could be no identification of the body. Mm, yeah, some, but, something does not sound right. Well, they knew they heard a shot inside before they fired the tear gas in. Uh, so it, and they just wanted something for show so that they could bury a guy that probably got rid of a lot of troublesome people they had in the department. Oh. Now, I'm going to tell you this. My father was a police officer in the Los Angeles Foothill Division. That's where he was a motorcycle officer out of. He said that police officers that were problems, a lot of them ended up being shot in gang violence. Isn't that amazing? Oh, amazing how that happens. Yeah. Uh -huh. And United removing the Boeing 787 from flight plans. Yeah, because uh, now they got a problem with paint. Mm -hmm. The paint the, the paint is over. Uh, okay, uh, it's a, it is, okay. We, you, I, I, I was trained to fly by wire today. They're flying by uh, signals from all over the plane. What happens is none of the, no no pilot in his right mind wants to fly by a battery. And mm -hmm. This is what they're doing. It's fly by battery now, and it's scary. I mean, I've I've seen. I was watching last night on the military channel about the early occurrences of battery powered devices all dying in the battlefield, leaving the people stuck with all their equipment. Mm -hmm. And GM pledges seven point three billion dollar investment in South Korea unit. I know mm -hmm. they're not okay. Here's. Uh, they're owned by the United States no matter what they say because the money that GM used to pay back the taxpayers' money was borrowed from the government. Mm. They also are Geico, which is also owned by the government, and they also are Alley, mm -hmm. which is owned by the government. But they're asking, uh, we have a huge unemployment in the United States and they spend, they're going to spend $8 billion to build a Korea. You know why? Why? They're not union workers over there. <sighs> So they're going to build cars. They're taking American money out of the country again to hire non-union workers. I mean, I, I heard this morning. I mean, the guy has been getting in all kinds of troubles with the left-wing press by saying, "You know, I'm being killed by the president of the United States and his investment in companies that are taking their business into another country with his approval." And the General Electric is basically massive work. They think what they got like 25 billion from the government, and they're taking all of their business out of the country. Um, but don't worry, they did bring it. Five hundred dollars, five hundred jobs back. Ooh, and a mon We could give them that return. Yeah. And a Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Uh, basically, on days like the day, you find out that you should have had everything done yesterday, even though you didn't know you had to do it yesterday.